But, uh, you know, I think even though Snow has a little bit more map control, Flash is still in a very, very good position. Now Snow is going for four bases, going for that top left base. So he's going to have a lot of economy. Uh-oh, the shuttle might get picked off, though. The shuttle's about half health. Doesn't have very many hits left. Had to drop the uh, Reaver, doing a nice job of dropping the Reaver. The shuttle does go down, though. This Vulture's going to see this top left base, going to be doing a little bit of harassment. And uh, there he goes again, getting hits off on those Dragoons from the mine. Just kind of weird. Uh, five Dragoons at the main for Snow, and he's going to be pulling back because there's Vultures coming right into his base. He does see those Vultures. Vultures have speed now. Vultures might go for a run by there. Our uh, pylons, nice job, barely getting that pylon just in time, doing a nice little block there. He does put more mines down, and these mines are going to be just devastating to that uh, Dragoon there. Just taking one hit, though, doing a nice job of not losing his whole army. Reaver out in the open might get picked off. Uh, probably should pick it up with a shuttle or build another shuttle ASAP. That last vulture does go down. More vultures coming in though. Looks like vultures are also at his nine o'clock base as well, and he's just getting harassed the crap out of by Flash. And this is just Flash's pure multitasking coming to work here. Flash doing a very nice job of keeping even pressure, and it looks like Snow's gonna have to kill one of his pylons to get out of that base. Flash moving in with a lot of siege tanks does have his science facility. And uh, probably going to go get some science vessels pretty soon. He does dual armories, so definitely going to go for a big, big mech push here. Uh, loose, God, man, losing another Dragoon to mines. More siege tanks coming in. He does have a force of vultures going in at the uh, second natural of the base. Going to disrupt this whole mining. Probes going down left and right. Might be able to pick off all of these probes. Only three probes left, two probes left. Doing a nice job planting down mines at the same time. And Flash is just multitasking like the man that he is. Dragoon goes down. Down one dragoon's all that's left, doing a very nice job of putting those pylons there, though, able to block those vultures from getting any more harass on. And now, oh my gosh, another hit by those mines, man. He needs more observers or something, needs better micro. Oh, able to pick off the mine. Nice job. Finally does have some observers out, but now Flash is moving out with his mech army. Uh, just pretty much sees tank and vulture, but this is going to be very strong against uh, Snow's just dragoon army. Might look odd. Ooh, he makes he, Snow's making me nervous, man, with these mines. Uh, very coming very close to those mines on the left as well. Uh, looks like he's going three more gateways, but uh, this is a very good timing attack. Arbiter play coming into play for Snow. If he can just hold this off, he's going to be in a very good position because he's going to be able to uh, pretty much roll over Flash's army until he gets his Goliath out. The Arbiter is going to be very good. Uh, obviously, Comsats are going to help, but that Arbiter is going to be able to you know put down stas stasis and stuff like that looks like snow's gonna have to back up and siege line going up this base is gonna go down this base has absolutely no chance of surviving there's just way too many siege tanks here more factories going up more uh vultures and tanks going up as well flash picking up the bottom right base and uh this nexus is pretty much done for there it goes the top left base is down and out for uh snow here and It looks like Snow is going to push in from the south, going to try to take out this bottom right base. Going to be very successful, although he is at three bases. Both players are at three bases, and so uh, going to be able to stop Flash from getting too far ahead of him. Able to, you know, to pick off that SUV. He's gonna, Flash is going to have to cancel that bottom right command center. And uh, Missile Tour being put up kind of in a weird position, probably for, just for scouting purposes or to get rid of some observers. Um, yeah, that's kind of a weird position. He's going to be funneled into this small choke here. And uh, this is really Flash's chance to uh, do some good defense while he goes in for a drop. Uh, his forces are dying at that choke, though he really should have gotten through just a little bit sooner or stayed on the other side. Don't know what that dropship's doing. He just dropped off one tank. Going to be doing a lot of damage. Also dropping off two vultures. And uh, Snow is in a world of hurt now, just getting harassed from three different angles. Arbiter is finally out. And I think that's what those missile turrets were for. More vultures coming in as well. Snow trying to pick up that uh, 630 position there. Flash looking very, very confident. Drops his vultures down into the main instead of attacking from above. 
Dragoon's going down left and right, and there's no mining going on at his natural now. For Flash doing a very good job of defense. All those Dragoons going down that were attacking those Vultures, very nice job. Shuttle coming in for Snow. Snow's forces are just pretty much all uh, spread out now. Flash's forces are spread out as well, but Flash is on the offensive. That's the big difference here. Two more Vultures going in to the bottom base for Flash, and he's going to clean up that probe line there. Putting down more mines, uh, but these Arbiters are coming in to huge play. Arbiter coming in and attacking the tanks. The tanks going down. Uh, Arbiter is going to be able to, you know, pretty much help these Dragoons take out all these forces. There's only one more tank. A lot of missile turrets, though, but they're not going to matter. These Dragoons are going to be able to take them out. Flash in a little bit of trouble at that top position, although otherwise he has pretty much pure map control, doing a very good job macroing up, building a command center inside his base, probably going to float it over to that bottom position there. Uh-oh, this Scarab! Oh, Scarab does very epic fail there. Scarab able to pick that SCV off, but not quite what he wanted there. That Reaver just barely gets away, going in for another drop, and and here comes the the dropship now, pu pushing off another tank, and all these probes are going to go down. Gets a lot of probes uh, hits there. I don't know if Snow pulled in time. He did get like two on the first one, and if he would have gotten another hit off, he would have got about three or four more. So very nice job. Also harassing this 9 o'clock base as well, but getting a lot of SCVs is that Scarab and that Reaver. That Reaver is going to go down, though. That Reaver does die. That Zealot is attacking that tank. Tank probably should unseize here at any minute here. And uh, Flash just doing an amazing harassment job, man. He's just owning Snow in the harassment category. Uh, Snow's just trying to rebuttal with some Reavers, but it's not even close to be enough. And now a big mech force joined by Goliath with uh, Charm Boosters and Science Vessels is coming in for Flash. And I think this is going to be the last attack because really Snow has nothing. He has less economy. He has less units. He has less army. He has Arbiters, which could come into play. But... Uh, Flash has Goliath and Snow not looking very confident. Look like like he's in a kind of a tough position. Flash is going to come out of both of these uh, bridges here, able to status the science vessel, doing a very nice job. Not statusing a lot of the units, though, only getting three units. Could have probably been better. Flash looks like he's picking up that top north base as well as the. Uh, 530 position so doing a very nice job of expanding while he's attacking that's what you need to do in the as a you know a pro starcraft player as a starcraft player in general just attack and expand attack and expand now he's going to have map control pretty much going to be able to keep snow at the left side of the map here another comsat station going down for flash as well more units streaming into the middle and you can just see that huge uh, glob coming in and another huge another two huge globs coming in from his bases as well. Another status goes off on the tanks. Very good status actually. And here comes Snow. Going to be uh, kind of aggressive here. But he's going to be deterred. It looks like these Vultures and these Goliaths are just doing too much damage. More Siege Tanks in the back. Once these Siege Tanks unfreeze, it's probably going to be over. They're just going to pop so many of these Dragoons. Dragoons going down left and right. Flash is doing so much macro here. Doing a very good micro and GG coming from Snow. So Flash just out harassing, out macroing, out microing Snow. Doing a very nice job. And uh, Snow really didn't have a chance from the start. Nice job, Flash. GG. See you guys next game.